What is up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebase.com. Another case of 2024 Top Series 1 Baseball just sold out. This is Jumbo Edition 6 Boxer number 10. Our last one, guys. At least for today. Last one, Mojo Dave. Yeah, I'm trying to think what's my favorite lemonade. I will say, um, where, 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 where was my favorite lemonade at? Like, I like my lemonade a little bit more sour than sweet. Like, if you guys ever go to Raisin Cane's, I feel like theirs is kind of sweet. I feel like Chick-fil-A lemonade's pretty strong. A lot of pulp in there, though, but, you know, it's okay. There was one where I, I, I forgot where I went. I don't know if it was a random restaurant or something, but I got a lemonade. It was like, man, it was great. I have not tried their frozen lemonade, but it probably is pretty good. It probably is pretty good. And then uh, you made a meme, Rex, uh, yelling at Reed. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I I'll check it out. And then Sam saying, there's a small photo of him on the Phillies card in the new top set. Check it out. Oh. You think I might have passed one up? Or is it like a short print card? Is this your last case of demo? I mean, it makes the time I post another one, but I'll only one left, and I have you may take it, sir. Oh, look at this is Cosmics. Look at this is a Mc so McDonald's is trying out these like Dutch Bro ones, but there's only one location. Look, look at these drinks; they look pretty cool. Oh, I saw the line for that. Yeah, is that what? Uh, it's probably what's probably that what, what it is. And then like they got drinks, and then they got like ice coffees and shit like that. But then they also have like their classic foods, which I think is awesome. Freaking sick. That's what, but like Cosmics is like what the sign of the restaurant says. Yeah, it's like yeah, it looks like that. I guess. I don't know. I'm hoping they bring them over here at one point. Yes, I I'm very drawn to uh, to uh, lemonade at, at carnivals for sure. Like if I go to the LA County Fair, big lemonade sign, fresh lemonade, freshly squeezed lemonade. I'm like, yeah, sign me up, bro. You know, actually, In and Out's pink lemonade's pretty strong too. I will say though, I rather drink In and Out's pink lemonade and and. You know, put like 70% lemonade, maybe 80%. I'm more of a... I love Arnold Palmer's, but I'm more of a lemonade... Uh, more lemonade than tea kind of guy. Like, I'm literally like 70-80% lemonade. Give me like 20% tea. Their pink lemonade... Uh, with an Arnold Palmer's. Awesome. So when I go to... When I go to in and out that's, I usually get a lemonade, but I, I kind of do like a 80% Arnold Palmer. 80% lemonade. I wonder how this Cosmics is doing since they only have one location. I wonder if they do well. I don't know, man. I mean, at some point, a player's got to crack or a team's got to crack. I mean, I guess if you're like a free agent, like let's say Bellinger, who's been around for the league for a while, and I mean, he, it's not like he can't work out on his own while he's waiting to get a call or potentially cave in to sign. You know? I mean, I would... Like I said, they're professionals. As long as they're in shape and they're ready to roll, I mean, they can still train. They can work out on their own. I think they just want to stay firm, right? I mean, look at... Especially with spring training coming up, you know injuries are probably going to happen. Shit's going to happen. And, um... Like I said, it's not like they're rookies or anything like that, so... They got money. They've been in the league for a little bit. They can afford to hold out a little bit. They really believe that they're worth what, they're, what they want. Yeah. I mean, my favorite, my favorite, like, soda like that. I mean, I love cherry. I think I've said this a million times. Cherry. Cherry Dr. Pepper is probably the most elite drink ever. But, you know, I dabble cherry Coke, cherry Pepsi, whatever. But, I mean, I'm a guy. I'm, I'm literally a guy. I, I go to, I go to this place. Called Tokyo Wacko here in SoCal. There's a couple of them around. It's 
It's basically Benihana's, but I think it's better than Benihana's. I order a freaking uh, Shirley Temple all the time. Give me a Cherry Sprite, shit like that. Love it. But uh, Doc Cherry Dr. Pepper is definitely my favorite. Yeah, Rex, but come on, bro. This is what I'm trying to tell you. A normal guy like me and you would probably be struggling, but... Again, these guys are millionaires, and I'm pretty sure they've made more money than than millions of dollars. Like a million, like you know what I mean? Like they're well taken care of. I mean, unless they just spent it all. I think uh, they're okay with waiting where they want to live or where they figure out where they want to live. Because regardless, someone's gonna pay them a decent amount. I, I don't think it's that hard of a thing for athletes to just pack up and leave. Especially if you've already bounced around a couple times. It's not too big of a deal. Now, when you're an older guy who has, like, kids that are in elementary school or middle school, and, you know, then that's where it becomes a little bit more harder to kind of want to pack up and leave or figure out where you want to stay because, you know... You got a huge family, but I don't think Bellinger has, like, kids that are more than, like, five years old. So. I mean, I don't even know if he has kids, but. I'm just saying, you're a professional. I think they know that they're going to bounce around. They have to. But, it, again, if they want what they want, they're going to hold out. I mean, it's just plain and simple. That's what they believe. They're hoping that the team cracks and pays them what they want. I mean, I'm pretty sure Bellinger's made more than enough money for a lifetime. He got paid pretty decent for the Dodgers. I mean, hell, he made like $20 million off of you guys in one year. It's more than enough money to go, off, go around. I think it's affecting you a little bit more, Rex, because you want Bellinger to probably stay, but... <laughs> it's probably killing you inside that he hasn't signed it. But not us, Rex. Not us. We see Hotani just hitting bombs in spring training right now. And batting practice, so we're good. <laughs> we don't have to worry about that. We already we already signed Clayton Kershaw already again. We're good. There's only one location. I guess they're still testing it out in Illinois. Oh, okay. But I was just wondering if they already had open one. I've seen the videos. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Maybe Rex. But I mean, I'm, it's fine. I mean, I don't really care right now about that. He can be better than Yamamoto as long as the Dodgers are better. That's all that matters. Alright, here we go. I mean, it could happen, Sam. I mean, I'm sure Bellinger wouldn't be the only player to get paid and just get comfortable again and just not do extremely well. It happens, right? Yeah, let me know, Sam, if it's kind of cool. I mean, me and Joe, I mean, for sure, I'm, my wife's the same way. I mean, I, I really want McDonald's to bring back all-day breakfast. 
I mean, I don't really eat McDonald's often, but if I do, it's only for breakfast. You know, fresh sausage McMuffin with egg. So good. For fast food, you know? I don't really care for the hash brown, really. Um, so, uh, the fact that you can probably get like that, I'm assuming, throughout the day is pretty awesome. Um... I don't, I don't know if Cosmics would even be that popular here in LA. There's just so much around here, but um, I, I wouldn't want to wait more than like 10 minutes. I'd probably do a mobile order. <laughs> There's just so many options in LA here that I'm sure Cosmics would be fun, but I think more people really want like Dutch Bros. To, Dutch Bros is almost coming towards LA already. I think the closest Dutch Bros there is now is in like, um, in Fountain Valley, which is not too far off of Long Beach, kind of more in the OC, but Dutch Bros is now starting to move towards Southern California really. So I mean, I think more people are more pop, more, more love that actually. Oh, I've tried their breakfast sandwiches. I, it's amazing. When I went to Canada, Tim Hortons was my, my favorite. Their ice caps were great. Their breakfast biscuit was great. Sandwich. I would love some Tim Hortons here too, but... Yeah, they're only in like Canada and like some northern states in the United States. Luis Matos. And Coco Montes. Gold foil. Red's going to Will. Prime time. Fernando Tatis Jr. for the Padres. Ozzy Albies. Taylor Ward, Johnny Bench. Alright, we'll have to randomize this. 
between these three teams here. All the other ones, we're just kind of splitting them evenly just because they're all pretty much, there's probably a handful of them. So, but that one will have to randomize since it's numbered. And we got Clark Schmidt. Nice little team color borders for the Yanks. Gary Mitchell relic. Lazardo for the Ramirez Bonsoto. Owen White, Texas Rangers. Michael Harris. Margo, Julio, Mason Wynn. And Marco Luciano. Nice. For the Giants. Garrett Cole to 2024. For the Yankees. Chris Bryant, I don't know why these are backwards.
Juan Soto relic for the Padres. Going to Eric. Alec Marsh for the Royals. Royals is Raymond. Labor Torres relic to one ninety nine. Bryce Harper. No, what is an Easter egg variation? <laughs> Any nice Braves yet? Uh, let me see, Jeremy. I'm halfway through right now. I can do a quick recap of what we've pulled so far. These are the relics. So, Michael Harris, there's one for you. And then... These are the three autographs. Royals, Rockies, and Mariners. No. Then I have not. Rex, I have not. not. It took me four cases to pull a variation, Rex. Imagine what an Easter egg is going to cost, or how long it's going to take me to pull an Easter egg. It was funny though, when I finally did pull my variation, I pulled like two of them in a case though. I did pull two gold autographs in the silver packs in the last case for the first time. Bo Jackson gold and Mike Schmidt gold, which is pretty awesome.
Wow. That sucks, right? Come on, King. Let's go score on this power play. Yeah, the fact that you got three of them. Yeah, I was actually going to say, you didn't go with your gut, that's what happens. Especially knowing that that should happen, you know? To Brian Hayes for the Pirates. Go to Tristan. Jason Dominguez. And a home sweet home medallion, Chase Field. For the Diamondbacks, going to Ross. It's a two ninety nine. Again, we'll randomize those two left, middle, right. Jose Fur, last ball mojo Dave to 249 or 299 I should say.
And for the Guardians, Jose Ramirez. Going to EA. Henry Davis home run challenge. Seth Brown, Nolan Arenado. Abrazole, Shohei Otani. Connor Wong for the Red Sox. To 2024. Cunha Jr., Freddie Freeman. Two boxes left, guys. For the Dodgers, Clayton Kershaw to 50. That's 50 of 50. Here's a cubby. Can't hold it against me no more. You just seen a cub right there. Another triple there. Left middle right on those ones as well. Here's another one. There's two cubbies. Damn Dane Dunn. There's another one. Come on, man. What are you talking about, man? Out of 499 for the Mariners. Yes, Quentin. Quentin. See you later. It's the damn Quinton Byfield. So hot right now.
CC Sabathia for the Yanks. Jason Dominguez. And Kyle Harrison for the Giants. Went ahead. Zach Geloff to 75. Nice. Athletics going to add. And for the Dodgers, Freddie Freeman. Look how dirty that jersey is, too. That's sick. Dodgers, that's going to John. That was one of the last, like, three teams taken here, guys. Dodgers. And I'm telling you guys, I get, like, one sell for a lick per case, almost. Brewers, Michael. For the Mets, Mark Vientos. All right, last stack here, and then we still have the silver packs, guys. I feel like the autographs have been okay. I feel like we're going to get a silver pack autograph as well. And New York Yankees to two ninety nine. Juan Soto Relic for the Padres. Padres, that is going to Eric. Christopher Morrell. Otani, home run challenge. Top of these two autographs. We'll go with the silver packs now, and then we'll do a quick recap.
Tatis, Posey, White, the Shot, Votto, Westberg, Trout, and Jason Dominguez. Manly, Yelich, Chisholm, and Jordan Alvarez. Schmidt, Luciano, Randy Rosarena, and Corey Seeger for Texas. To 75. Alright, let's get an autograph here, guys. Let's get an auto. Votto, Westbrook, Trout, another Dominguez. Schneider, Geloff, Brett, uh, Jose Ramirez. Buxton, Arias, and Rafaela. McCutcheon, Matos, Goldschmidt, Odolis Garcia, Geloff, Brett, Ramirez, and Owen White for the Rangers. Number to 299. Rangers getting extra hit their will. Clark, Arenado, Josh Young, Schneider. Krauser, Jordan Lawler, Christopher Morrell. There's Pete Crow Armstrong. Ryan and Ronnie Mauricio. Nice. Alrighty guys, well there you go guys, that was the break. So again, these were the autographs here, Owen White, Brian Wu, De La Cruz was a foil, Montes, Marsh, Frelick, Hayes, and Harrison. We had these relics here, Soto, Freddie Freeman, Sabathia out of 50, Clayton, Jose Ramirez, Medallion there, Corbin Carroll to 299, out of 199, Glaber Torres relic, Juan Soto, uh, Michael Harris, Garrett Mitchell, Tatis, Luis Matos. And yeah, all of these ones, the foils and the numbered ones, we're going to go left, middle, right. And uh, that's it, guys. Oh, four and a five, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Middle. You're going to get that, guys. So appreciate it. No more for the time being, guys, but hopefully we get more uh, at some point. Jaspies, case breaks, guys. Thank you.